Scotland's first ever three-weight world champion and the first time the big punching Namibian Julius Ndongo has been to Britain on the back of that first round shot knockout victory when he captured the IBF title out in Russia. We believe it's the first home unification in Scottish boxing history too. What a wonderful matchup as Ricky Burns once again chooses the risky option, Dave. This is Ricky Burns as a fighter. You know, he takes all the big challenges. Don't forget, Roman Martinez and Michael Katsidis both came over to fight Ricky Burns, expect with big punching reputations and they were expected to blow him away. He's faced this before. Long, tall, languid, awkward, but lunges in there. He lunges in and Ricky caught him with the right hand. He's just going to be tight, very clever. Mick, uh, the little bit of footage I've seen, and Dongo looks like he's got back feet coming forward. Now, it's, admittedly, it's only about 20 seconds of footage. Sometimes he can start there. Uh, slowly, Burns. He was floored by Dejan Satijanen in the opening seconds. In a fight he went on to lose. He's only ever lost five times in a long, illustrious career, Ricky Burns. Ndongo undefeated, a good amateur pedigree, but largely unknown. Very little footage. Good left hand from Ndongo. He's got this huge reach and he's so big and spidery. Then they just got to be clever, pick his spots. You know, you can see that Ndongo already just following around and around the ring. So as a southpaw, Burns can move to the left, and he's, Ndongo's not being able to ca catch up with him, square him off. He's just following him around the ring. The head's coming close together there. The southpaw Terence Crawford, of course, gave Ricky Burns a terribly difficult night here in Scotland. But he's bounced back time and again. His experience, his seasoning, his know-how around the ring. But Ndongo, wild early, no fear. They're very confident, the Namibian team, the Sunshine team, they call himself, as he looks to unload quick combinations early. Little red mark under the right eye of Ricky Burns. I do feel that Ricky's just going to let him, you know, let him fall short. When he falls short, that's when he's got to pick his spot to counter. He just go for speed counters rather than trying to load up on, on big shots. Can't believe the size difference. Freakishly tall, isn't he? For a super lightweight in Dongo. But like we said yesterday, good, good right hand on the strike on the bottom there. Like we said yesterday, Wayne, he looked comfortable at Wayne. He didn't look like he struggled. But very happy, didn't he? Giving the slip throat action to Ricky Burns, who said he's seen it all before. Burns calm, composed, cool, loves fighting, loves challenges. Trying to double up there with a hook and uppercut in Dongo. Any impressions, Dave? <laughs> it is what we thought, and Dongo would come out bombing. Ricky Burns in the camouflage trunks and the green gloves comes out to try and become the IBF holder at 10 stone as well. The blue of the blue machine and those long socks of Julius Indongo from Namibia. He's 34, he's won all 21. Is Ricky Burns finding out how good he is this early? What Ricky will know already is, is the, the few shots that Ndongo's caught him with already, he'll, he'll have felt the power. He'll know if this power is real or not. He'll know exactly how hard he's punching. And he'll adjust his, he'll adjust his plans accordingly. Aggressive southpaw in Dongo. Putting his combinations together. Just a bit circumspect, Ricky Burns. We've seen that before. He comes on strong. He's so tough to derail, isn't he, Burns? He is. He's got, he's got great will to win. He's a tough, tough man. He can't, can't afford to lose.
to lean in and, and fall short himself. Yep, falling short there. No real sign of the jab yet from Burns. I'd, li I'd like to see Ricky just, just fainting and flicking with the jab. Fainting towards Ndongo's own lead hand. Take that lead hand away. And then step off to his left. Left hand from Ndongo. It's a comfortable look about him as he tries to target the Burns body too. Had some decent wins on paper. But really unknown outside of Namibia. We remember a very good champion in Harry Simon who came over. Won a couple of uh, world titles. Beat our own Wayne Alexander. They have produced good fighters before, but it's just this mysterious feel about him. But we're learning more now. The problem is with Ricky, every time Ndongo attacks him, Ricky backs up in a straight line. He's giving Ndongo the range and the reach. If he, can, if he can start stepping off to the side and then catch him on the way in. Speed there of Ndongo. Looks fairly sharp, doesn't it? Yeah. But you would expect him to be really sharp early doors, and this is the danger time. Nothing really landing of any significant note. That's a bit better. Just waiting Burns. Maybe hoping the storm will subside. It's all fast flurries, faints. This is the upper cut there in Dongo. It's a bit disjointed. to coach carrying the uh, WBA belt into the ring tonight in this unification with the IBF champion Julius Indonga. We mentioned Ricky Burns has only lost five times in his career. One of those was to Alex Arthur. How did you do it? Well, I think one of the most important things to do is take away his jab. And, um, I mean, it's, it's totally different altogether now. It's, it's different tactics. I would like to see Ricky sit on the back foot and try and get some counter punches off. I think it would be a good tactic for him right now. He seems to be shooting from the front foot. I would rather he waited, sat back, timed Ndongo's ungainly swings and counter-punched him. I think he could maybe find a rhythm and, 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 and a good pace for himself. That's how I think he needs to, he needs to feint him and, and draw his lead. Yeah, Ndongo, exactly. We saw it there. And yes. When he misses, he falls short and he, yeah. and he brings his face close to you. So that's when Ricky's got to have his balance about when he's dropping back to look for his counter Yeah, shot. exactly. Maybe a nice shot check quick when, when Ndongo overreaches. Hasn't quite settled yet, has he, Ricky? Not yet. Very, very experienced fighter over 12 rounds, though, Adam. Very experienced, very affable guy, Julius Indongo, who we're talking to at the weigh-in. And he's super confident. He said, no one's beat me as a pro, and I don't expect to go back empty-handed from Namibia. Full respect for the Scottish crowd. And he looks totally at home in there. What can Burns do? Just to slow Ndongo down, put him in his place a bit, remind him. Well, sometimes when Ndongo attacks, everything that Ndongo's uh, attacking with his right hand is high. If Burns can come underneath and whip a shot underneath into his body, then maybe a right, right, up, right hook to the body as he takes his head out to the left underneath his right arm, then, you know, shots like that are going to slow him down. That one round knockout win over Trajanovski before that. That's a good right hand from Burns. Fabian Limo, Alan Kavoti. An Olympian, though, too, in Dongo. Reaching with that left hand and really trying to target the body. Good left hands to the body they are from in Dongo. You know, he's showing intelligence there. You know, he's not just head on He's finding that left hand to the body. He's looking for left hand to the body. Yeah, he is, and he's setting him up with a good job as well, Dave. He's not just directly no. looking at him. That's what I would say from, from the left footage. Is his feet are bad when he's coming forward. Maybe more the reason that Ricky's corner should maybe tell him to maybe sit on the back foot a little bit and time and Dongo coming in, try and catch him with some crisp corners. He's back on the ropes. In Dongo, this whirlwind from Namibia, setting a red hot pace in there. Burns trying to get the right hand going. You mentioned the word ungamely, Alex, and that's what he is, isn't he? Very much so. Long limbs. Ricky Hatton. 
Ricky Burns on the super featherweight title and the lightweight and now he's at super lightweight Scotland's first three-weight world champion Julius Ndongo though is a world champion for Namibia the former policeman in the all blue with those long socks what do fighters sometimes wear those Dave? Fashion <laughs> wear the fashion they follow superstition Alex it could be Adam and it could be the fact that maybe the calves tighten up and you know good support of socks help help the blood flow I think they're I think they're football socks <laughs> good right hand from Indongo who's made a, a positive sprightly and excellent start and Burns just with his hands up they seem to turn slow here But he looks the younger man in there, doesn't he, Ndongo, Dave? Yeah, he looks, he looks very fresh, very sprightly. Just can't quite get to grips with the awkward southpaw with the long levers, Burns. The problem is, is he, just, he is going back in a straight line upright, so, he, so he, he's going to struggle to try and catch him on the way in. He's got to just step a little bit to the sides and then catch him. But I'd like to see more feints from Ricky. Feint, feint, and then draw his lead, and then he can counter. Do you think he's just expecting to, to lose the first few and yeah. come on strong and, and, and then take off the rounds? All I, part of the plan? I do believe that, but, you know, Ndongo has, has been 10 rounds before, and, and I always feel that yeah, it's all right losing a couple of, you know, losing the other rounds, but I feel that you have to make the other guy work. You have to make him work at a pace that he's not happy with. Ndongo's controlling the pace of the fight so far. Yep, centre ring. There's the combinations and the jab from Ndongo. Burns tries to get one back. I'm really surprised at how much Ndongo's targeting the body, especially so early in the fight. Yeah. You know, being being the guy with the longer levers and the height advantage, you think he would be, be trying to gain an advantage on our boxing rookie Burns with behind his long jab and his left cross, but he seems to be targeting the body he, quite a lot. He's setting him up to knock him out. He's not coming here to win on points. He perhaps knows if he comes to Scotland, it's going to be very hard for him to win on points. Yeah. And he's setting him up with those body shots. Then he'll switch it back up later on as we go on. Are you trying to say we're unfair up here, Dave? No, no. No, no listen, I would say the same thing if I was in somebody else's. Burns never been stopped. Remember, he was four three times by Carl Johansson. He's always had a really good chin. Maybe that's why Ndongo targeting the body, but he's really going through the motions here. Julius Ndongo. It's a big assault. And Burns at the moment has not really got an answer. It's all in Dongo here in Glasgow so far in this unification at Super Lightweight. I've just caught out Adam Buzai behind us working for radio. He's given Indongo the first four, and I think both you, Dave, and you, Alex, have as well. Yeah, four runs down, Adam. And the thing is, Ricky's got to change. He's got to change what he's doing, because Indongo's getting success with everything he's doing. Right hand for Burns. But the good, there was two good body shots on the knee from Indongo. There has to be a change, a shift for the Scotsman. If he's going to get a foothold into this, he's having real trouble reading in Dongo. Not just the southpaw style, but the huge reach and the speed as well. He is, but Adam, I, I, I believe that there would be a big shift in it if he fainted more. Draw his lead, he's got to faint, make him miss. He doesn't look comfortable in there to me, Dave. No, but... it, it doesn't. Yeah, he really does seem out of sorts at the minute, doesn't he? But he's, 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 he's either doing nothing or then he's firing, he's, he's not feigning. Gonna do a little twitch, draw his lead. Yeah, just draw the lead, yeah. Did have problems with the southpaw of Slatichin and also of Terence Crawford. He fell that, he fell that left hand. Yeah, he's hurt here. And Julius Ndongo in the fifth round cranks up the pace and again targets the body. He's Thank breaking through Ricky Burns' defence. His legs are still working very well though, Adam. This is how Ricky recovers. He takes to his feet. He moves around the ring for 10, 15 seconds. He, he recovers so well. But he hasn't had any real success so far. No, he really hasn't. Nothing he know. 
it's a subdued performance this from Ricky Burns, the WBA champion. But give credit to Julius Ndongo, who's come over here with bags of confidence, self-belief, and he's delivering super shots early, but there's a long way to go. He's being outboxed now as well. He's overreaching every now and then, Dave, and he's running into a couple of counters, especially that stiff jab. As he's going forward, he needs to step to his, he needs to step to his left. Because when he, when he fires that right hand, he's leaning straight into Ndongo's left hand. Yeah. But just doesn't seem to be enough variety in his work. There's not enough thought there in how he can open Ndongo up. The crowd rally. That's what he needs to do. As Burns tries to get close. Steve Gray gives him a little ticking off. Ndongo was telling us in the way that he, he wants a fight. He wants Burns to come to him. That's what he enjoys. That's a good stiff left cross to the body that Ndongo throws. Last 10 seconds of the fifth. Right hand from Burns. Dongo smiles, getting a little closer. A tough one it really is. Let's get over to get Anthony Crawler's thoughts. Thanks, Anthony. Anthony Crawler working for us tonight, but also on a bit of a spying mission if he chooses to go up in weight to take on either of these guys after that defeat to Jorge Linares at lightweight. But here comes Julius Indongo, and he has looked super confident since he arrived in Scotland and he's just taken it into the ring relaxed forceful accurate a right nuisance a nightmare for Burns this that, that left hand is a weapon and it keeps changing it downstairs upstairs downstairs upstairs he's not he's not letting Ricky know and read the patterns there's nothing to read with him at the moment but Ricky I, I, I stress Ricky needs to start fainting needs to start making him fall short and then whipping the shots in underneath he needs to make himself a little bit smaller Ricky's, Ricky's trying to be tall as he's going back which is just falling into, into his traps and many people Alex go on about the experience of Ricky Burns but there's miles on the clock too as well against DiRocco and, and Relic you know he can't keep going to the well time and time again I was just about to say you know how many times can he go back you know it's he's had a really really hard career if you look back over all his fights he's been in some unbelievable wars as well going back as far as Martinez yeah that was a great fight wasn't it Horn himself up off the canvas in the first round to win on points his first world title got a tough one out in Texas against Omar Figueroa nothing's come easy for Ricky Burns and that's why they love him here but Julius Ndongo has uh, trod a tough, tough road as well. And the Namibians believe that he's a real secret. He's unheralded. And this is their way to unleash him onto the world scene properly after that big win in Russia. When they get close to the clinches, they fall in. Ricky, instead of trying to hit him on the back of the head, he's got to whack him underneath. Bring him up. Still trying to shoot that right better. hand off Ricky Burns. But is he doing enough to win any of these rounds, Dave? No, no. This is his best round so far, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good right hand. Good right hand. Nice shot from Burns. Got a massive punch of 14 knockouts on the slate. Oh, back oh. from Indongo. Oh, and he's hurt there, Ricky Burns. Just the legs dip momentarily. He fell back from Indongo. Jab finding its way through to head and to body. Gaps are appearing. This is the most lackluster Ricky Burns has been in a long time, and he walks into another right hand. Well timed counter from Ndongo, really well timed. Another big one for Ndongo when Burns was pointing out in the fight at him where it, it might not have won around. So it's time to put his foot on the gas and try and make something happen. Combinations, more aggression, Get, don't stand so tall, just like Dave said earlier. He's very, very upright, almost like he's trying to outbox a taller guy, and it's just not going to happen. Everything 
from Dave to Julius Indongo. Everything from Alex to Julius Indongo. And everything from me as well. Ricky Burns has had 11 world title fights. He's gone 12 rounds on 13 occasions. How he needs the second half of this fight. Because if the pattern continues, he could even be taken out here for the first time in his life. Julius Indongo is going from strength to strength. And the worrying thing, I think, for Scottish fans, Alex, for all of you, is that he's just not getting sustained success at all burns and he's being hit time and again that's, that's way better he's just not really got any rhythm has he but he gives himself more chance if he doesn't just attack in a straight line yes he's attacking in a straight line has he got the legs at this stage in his career to deal with this slippery southpaw the one thing he does have Adam is the heart yeah and that might come into play. He's always had that. He's always wanted it so very badly. And so often for the fans who come to support him. Just trying to get the jab going, Burns, but again, counter with a left shot. The speed, the unorthodox of Ndongo as Burns tries to close the gap. You see, so often when they're attacking, it's Ndongo that's get, just moving his right foot on the outside of Burns' yeah. left, and that's why he's lining up that left hand. This is what Ricky needs to be doing to him. He needs to be moving his left foot on the outside of Ndongo's right so he can get his own right hand up. 11 knockouts in his 21 wins, Julius Ndongo. But he has been long as well. And we can see his boxing ability coming to play. And I wonder if it's just the timing as well of their careers. Just bundled over there, Burns. Physically still looking strong in Dongo. Will he begin to tire? No signs of it, Dave. No, no. I think, you know, looking at him right now, he's boxing at his own pace, he's doing what he wants to do. He's the boss in there. And what's so often when you're the boss, you can you handle that pace. Left hand. Well, if you're dictating the pace and setting the pace and you're in full control and you've got the, the, the range and the distance that your opponent measures, you can kind of do yeah. what you want, Dave, can't yeah. you? And Ricky's having to work so hard to stay in there, not to get caught with his Exactly. And Dongo's sliding out to his own right very, very well now. Yeah. When Ricky launches this straight... And something has got to change big time from Tony Sims and Ricky Burns if they're going to get back into this. Julius and Dongo come straight out for round eight. For me, Ricky's lost every round. We're into round eight. And there's no point in leaving it until the last couple of rounds to give it everything. He might as well go for it now. Really put it on him. Try and boss him, Dongo. But he can't just go in, he can't just attack in a straight line. He's got to take that step to the left. He's still got a feint. But he keeps backing off. Is that head movement, the shoulder mobility, the legs? Are they just slowing? So we're looking at a proud warrior who's nearing the end of his career. Very, very possible, Adam. Let's be honest, he's up against a really difficult opponent with unbelievable physical attributes yeah. for a light welterweight. Tall, long arms, can clearly punch quite hard. Up to now, looks like he's got a great engine. His movement's good. His fluidity is really good. He seems to be in a really good place in Dondo. Really good fire. A very happy fighter successful one here tonight the corner alongside us the Namibians are absolutely loving this performance great body shot from Indongo we saw a wonderful display from a foreign fighter in Jorge Linares proving too good for Anthony Crawler on two occasions and this guy Julius Indongo looks top world class he really does you know the thing that we had when when Indongo won his world titles Everybody jumped on about trying to get hold of him. There was a race to get hold of Ndongo because everybody just, you know, you've never heard of him. He got, he got lucky with one shot. Nobody knew how good this man was. And tonight, he's, you know, he's showing him. He's showing us that he's not just that one punch man. Boxing Cuba, Taiwan, Botswana, the Beijing Olympics. 
but all in Namibia as a pro until the 45 seconds or so in Russia. We've seen almost eight rounds here. A lovely jab there from Ndongo. I'm not so tough for you guys to break southpaws, isn't it? But one as tall and as quick and as powerful and a good right, shot okay. from Ndongo and Bert is hurt. 35 seconds left in the eighth round. And Ricky Burns is tottering around and Ndongo looks so strong. He needs to grab all his Nothing is coming back from Ricky Burns. A left from Julius Indongo. Burns digs deep into those bucket loads of courage and spirit that have kept him going for so long. But he's being outclassed here. He's being beaten up. But Julius Indongo could very well take him out in the next few minutes. If it starts taking it, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Hit, I, I, I pull on B and it would make perfect sense, but I don't think it's going to happen. 370th round of Ricky Burns' career, and it's only the 122nd for Julius Indongo. The freshness, the fluidity, the southpaw style, the power, the unorthodox angles. Well, it's given him everything from the opening bell. Ricky Burns trying to stay strong, trying to land some right hands. Doesn't have that concussive power, though, to keep Indongo off. Does have the will, but he's driving these shots home, Dave, now, Indongo. Listen, I, I know from experience, I was in the corner with Billy Nelson when, when Ricky Burns... Is there a possibility that Ricky Burns could be stopped for the first time in his life? It's a wonderful performance, this, from Julius Indongo. The concentration from a British point of view might be on Ricky Burns' performance, but let's look at Indongo and what he's fantastic done here. Tonight. It really has. There's, there's not been a minute of this fight that Burns has had control of. Still Burns comes forward, throws a combination. Incredible grit, Alex. I told you, Adam, I told you he wouldn't lie down. I never believe he'll be stopped. He's had this granite chin for so long, Burns. He's got up when he's been knocked down. Ricky Burns and the one quick don't go hand in hand. And listen to the crowd. Shots, but misses Burns. Indongo still light on those toes. But a bit of blood on the lip of Indongo. The jab still strong. Is there any way he could tire at this stage? I don't believe so. I'll say again, he's, he's gone at his own pace. Driving himself forward. Peter Sims trying to urge him on. The crowd too. It's so gallant this from Burns, but we'd expect nothing less. It's there where Ricky needs to just bang to the body. Bang yes. to the body there. That's how you're going to make him tired. That's how you're going to take his legs away. Defense from Burns, but one seat through that. Sims brothers. Mahara unbeaten and making his own career as well. Ricky Burns, proud and honourable and brave Good job. at every stage. Nine minutes to go, and has he got nine minutes to find a knockout, something to turn this right around? He's going to have to if he's going to be the unified champion. Or Julius Ndongo is going home with a treasure. Nice counter jab for Ricky there. Maybe follow up with a good straight right hand to the body. That's got his mouth open now, Ndongo. Yeah. This is what he needs to do. He needs to rough him up on the inside. Shoulder him, hit him under the rib, hit him around the side of the elbows for sure. 
Utilise all those old tricks. Exactly. Rough, rugged. That redness around the left eye. You just can't dampen his spirit. But that left hand of Indongo has been potent tonight. Quick, he's never really tried anything different either. He's kind of fallen into the same kind of pattern throughout, and Dongo's reading him now at, like, like a book. Maybe try some wide looping right hooks. The only problem is if he throws a looping right up and then Dongo throws a straight left hand, he's going to get beat to it. Well, definitely. That's why he needs to, if he takes a step with his left foot and he stays, he stays outside, outside right the right foot, foot yeah. throws the right of course. Then he, then he can land it. It can't be there either, it can't be waiting there on the outside. And Dongo's physical advantages are far, far too much to cope with when he's, when he's sitting on the back foot. Has been 12 rounds on three occasions. And Dongo maybe just trying to pace himself here, box his way home. But a massive lead, surely on all three judges. He's looking tired. A big deep breath from the number. Burns will still believe he can come on strong late on. That's better. Hanging in there, Ricky Burns backed up on the ropes. But could Indongo just crumble, fall apart? No sign at all as he keeps pushing forward behind that jab. He's worked at a real pace, hasn't he, Indongo? They were talking about Harry Simon, and they said, this guy's really good too, Julius Indongo. They were telling the truth. Last six minutes, the blue machine of Julius Indongo ready to take the belts home to Namibia. A shutout, boys. Yeah. Up to now, Adam. But while he's still in there, we know Ricky Burns will still believe. He'll still try. He still digs so deep. But has he got anything? Anything to turn this around now? He's got clipped by a couple of right hooks on the way in there. Yeah. Swiping lefts from Indongo. Scything shots with his big reach. I bet he'll say afterwards, Ricky Burns, and he just couldn't read yeah. them. Listen, he, he, he gave it a big effort in the last round and he got nowhere really. And then we've got, you've got to keep an eye on what happens in this round now. Body shots from Indongo. Looks like he's injecting the tempo again, upping the pace. Is he happy to coast home or does he want a stoppage to make sure, even though we are sure? I think there's no doubt who's winning this fight. He's found a lovely rhythm about his work now as well. Yeah. He's actually cruising at this point now. He's a great addition to world boxing, isn't he? Definitely. Especially at this weight division, Adam. Really, really exciting weight division. Yep, Terence Crawford, Victor Posco, Adrian Broner. Broner. Lots out there. Ricky Burns is hoping for those big fights. Anthony Crawler, of course, watching as well at ringside. The crowd trying to pull Ricky Burns through, but they can't pull him through those left hands of Indongo. And the birdie shots, which have been good, Alex, from the word go. Right from the start. Really surprising tactic from Indongo. Right away, the straight left hand of the body in the first round was was a punch that was going to pay dividends in the later part of the fight. Ricky just got nailed with a big left hand there. Took it well. Yeah, again he's showing that resilience, the chin and the nod from Julius Indongo, who's put on a perfect display here. It's the switching from the left hand to the body to the head that he's doing so well in Indongo. That's what I'm you know, really impressed with. Look, switch, first one to the body, second one to the head. Leaning on Burns, who must be so tired. How tough is it, Alex, when nothing's really gone right for you? Well, 
you know, it's something that that's where you've got to find the heart, Adam. You know, that's where heart comes into play in boxing. That's why we're called fighters. And look at Ricky fight back. Spitting defiance. Absolutely. Trying so hard, the legs just disobeying him there. And down he goes. No knockdown. But it's more exhaustion. Balance, freshness, altitude, positivity. The big smile from Ricky Burns, who will appreciate how good Julius Ndongo is. He shared a ring with them all, hasn't he? Kevin Mitchell, who he destroyed in four rounds, he's here tonight watching this. Well, it makes sad reading if you're a Scottish boxing fan, if you're a Ricky Burns fan. But take your hat off to this Julius Ndongo, the blue machine, who has gone to Russia to win the IBF title in spectacular fashion. Producing a masterclass here, away from home again in Scotland to unify the division. Burns still tries his place in British boxing history assured Ricky Burns. Of course, very secure. And he'll look back at it and think, I know he will. How on earth did I achieve that? But he's done it through he's done brilliant it. dedication, hard work, and a lot of talent. And a lot of hard training at him. But he'll need a long rest, won't he, Dave? Oh, yeah. Right hand. He goes down. They say it's no knockdown. It's oh, the chart. He was. He to see him here the final bell of course but Ndongo won't Ndongo will still be seeking out that perfect finish you're talking about him needing a long rest Adam he's had a long long career yeah. he's had a lot of hard fights you've got to go back way back in his career he's had a lot of hard fights and, and you know he's got to make a decision when he wants to carry on again he's not you know he's not sure my decision on anybody no it's not, not it's not our call it's not our call he's a three-time world champion you know Absolutely fabulous for British boxing, Ricky Burns, inside and out of the ring, and still, even deep, deep into what's been a terrible night for him, he tries, standing on his feet, and attempting, wincing in pain, as a Donga again spins him round, last 40 seconds. He's cruising now and Donga, Adam. He's in a lovely rhythm and nothing's going to break him now. He looks like he's going for another three or four. He really does. Unbelievably fit. Let's go on to the training team and the management of this Namibian Julius Ndongo, who's remained a secret. Not anymore. It's he going is. to take someone of the caliber of Terence Crawford or someone to beat this guy. He's a, a massive player because he does a, a shuffle as well. Big player. Oh. Big statement made tonight for Julius Ngongo. He won it from start to finish. Ricky Burns makes it through. And the Scottish fans applaud. But the applause really should be for the excellence of this technician, this tall, spidery, awkward, but ever so effective and polished southpaw. Julius Ndongo. If Julius Ndongo had these physical attributes as an orthodox fighter, he'd be a handful. But as a southpaw as well, it was just it was just an absolute nightmare for Ricky Burns tonight. Unbelievable. Really, I'm, I'm actually a little bit speechless. This is not what I expected at all. Fantastic performance from Ndongo. Every round whispers Howard Foster to us. Every round for you, Alex. And yeah. you're friends with Ricky Burns. You shared a ring with him. Every round for Julius Ndongo from you, Dave. And Ricky Burns knows it. But he's appreciative to this crowd for oh, yeah. coming out again. And the crowd love him. He's, a, he's, a, he's, an, he's an absolute hero. He doesn't need to do anything else, Howard. But look at the Namibians in the corner with the flag. They're all smiles, the sunshine team. It's their night. It's a massive, massive win for Julius Ndongo. He'll go home to a hero's reception in Namibia.
and he can look forward to some big big fights as for Ricky Burns I'm sure he will have a rest with his family the birthday celebrations were put on hold and now it will be commiserations when we hear the scorecards well done Julius Ndongo look he's still doing some work Just waiting for the uh, sound to come through. I think we all know what's going to happen, but Julius Indongo should enjoy this. Right then. And ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of World Championship Boxing, the judges' scorecards read, Howard Foster scores the contest 121.08, Judge Janovic scores the contest 118.110, and Judge Torres scores the contest 116.112. All three judges are in favour of your winner. Well, he's still the IBF and IBO, and now he's a WBA. Whatever. Right result, of course. Unanimous. 